cannot allow you before Theoden King so armed can upgrade him. By order of Grima Wormtongue. Courtesy of your hall is somewhat lessened of late, Theoden King. He's not welcome. Why should I welcome you, Gandalf Stormcrow? A just question, my liege. Late is the hour in which this conjurer chooses to appear. Last spell I name him. Ill news is an ill guest. Be silent. Keep your forked tongue behind your teeth. At the beginning of the video, Gandalf walks in in a gray robe, which symbolizes how he is the master in disguise and disguising his own power and how strong he really is. Then the door shuts behind him and it echoes extremely loudly, showing heightening the sense of suspense and tension in the room. Then um, the people on the right are looking at Gandalf and are intrigued by his presence and they are also suspicious about him. Then um, we see um, King Theoden's beard. It's extremely scruffy and it should, that is symbol, symbolizes weakness and his uh, vulnerability towards the man in the black robe, which in the black robe symbolizes darkness and death and corruption more than anything. And lastly, the music um, surrounding the entire scene is very heightened and is very tense, showing that there's something about to happen. I have not passed so far in death to bandy crooked words with a witless worm. Stop. I told you to take the wizard's star. Theoden, son of Fenger. Too long have you sat in the shadows. <laughs> I would stay. If I were you, hearken to me. I release you in this spell. <laughs> you have no power here, Gandalf. The gray. All the fighting starts and you see Gandalf walking straight forward, straight to the king with his main goal in mind. His main goal is just to free King Theoden. He's not trying to fight and slow things down. Fighting's just going to slow things down in his mind. So he's just going to go straight to King Theoden and he's going to stomp out the curse. Um, during the fight, during the fight, you see that King Theoden's loyal guard refused to pull out their swords because they're not going to fight against the people who are trying to help the king because really that's what they're trying to do they're trying to help the king be freed from this dark curse and them pulling out their swords and fighting is just going to stop that from happening something that they can't help at one point at one point you actually see Gimli the the dwarf with the long beard he literally stomps on the man in the black robes and he's uh, you know metaphorically stomping out the evil from the room Somewhere in the background, you can see behind King Theoden, his banner, his house banner, which is 
red and it has a white horse on it. The red banner generally symbolizes um, the passion and the energy that the king has or now had because he's under this curse. So the banner's behind him and the white horse on it symbolizes the freedom and the wisdom that he's given up because he's now under this curse. Uh, the very last thing that he says is that Gandalf the Grey cannot help him or cannot uh, stop this curse, but that is something that Cooper's going to talk about. <laughs> I will draw you, Saruman, as poison is drawn from a wound. Wait. If I go, Theoden dies. You did not kill me. You will not kill him. Here, Gandalf, he's tearing off the gray from him to symbolize his purity, and his purity, it's also, the, white is also the same color as the angels, and the angels come bringing good news, which Gandalf's good news bringing is the, bring the curse of the king. And here we see Theoden is speechless as soon as Gandalf begins the transformation, and as soon as he completes the transformation, um, King Theoden falls back in white, symbolizing his return to purity and the curse, the broken curse. Uh, also, his beard shrinks, and the shrinking of his beard, like, symbolizes the breaking of the curse. He gets his he gets his complexion back, symbolizing like it, he wasn't even himself when the, he was under the spell. So the breaking of the curse symbolizes his return to his normal self. Here at the end of the transformation. The princess runs up to King Theoden, and King Theoden says to her, I know this face, this is your face. Like, the, symbolizing that the curse is broken, and that he's, he actually turns back into himself now.